Okay, I'm back out here in my shop again, and today I'm going to be working on a project that I, I got some plans uh, that I saw online, and this is a baby cradle. Uh, you probably can't see those that good, but anyway, these these are some free plans I found online at uh, it says www.craftsmanspace.com, and I'll, I'll probably put a link down in my description. Uh, so anybody wants to get these plants, uh, I've got some uh, some cherry here. Uh, let me show you. Because I've got a couple of really big pieces of cherry. These things are these things are right at 17 inches wide. So I should have plenty of material uh, to make this. Uh, I'm going to be using my CNC router uh, for part of this. This I'm going to vary the plans a little bit. I'm not going to make it exactly like this, which uh, I very seldom ever make anything exactly like the plans I get. And I'm, I'm going to uh, probably use the CNC router to engrave a little something on these uh, in, in board pieces here. And I'm also going to use it to cut out the, uh, the rocker because it's got a uh, very unique shape. And, uh, and probably the legs as well. Uh, probably going to cut two pieces and then put them together to uh, to make the legs but anyway first step in uh, today's project is to uh, figure out where because it, it's some of these boards it's got a couple of knots here uh, there are a few bad places so I'm going to try to first cut my uh, pieces down to size and, and try to eliminate the uh, bad spots and then I'm going to run them through my thickness sander that uh, I now have uh, if you watched the video on that, I did that, uh, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. Finished that up, so I'll get to use that on this project. And uh, it's a good thing I made it plenty wide enough. It'll, it'll do 18 inches, so I'll be able to run these things through there and get them smoothed out, kind of get some of the scratches and stuff off of them, and then I'll get ready to uh, run them on the CNC. First step, though, is to cut them down to size. Okay, I got all my pieces uh, cut to size, or at least the blanks cut to size. These are uh, blanks that I'm going to use uh, on my CNC router. Uh, you can see here the front and the back of this cradle is uh, going to require some pieces. These are about 20 by 18, so I had to cut them 18 by 10 and, and uh, glue up a couple of uh, panels for that. That's going to be the front and the back. And then I, okay, I got some other pieces here, some other blanks. I'm going to cut the uh, legs, which will be uh, actually, I'll cut two pieces to make one leg because I'm going to uh, laminate two of those together. Uh, and I'm also going to cut the rockers, uh, which is the bottom part. I'm going to be cutting that out, of, uh, that out of those blanks as well. So uh, I'm ready to get started cutting on the CNC, and uh, I'll show you some uh, parts when I get them cut out. Oh, I did want to tell you too that uh, I used my uh, thickness sander, uh, my dr uh, drum sander that I made uh, two or three videos ago uh, to smooth out the uh, these parts and get rid of some of the, you know, these were had some rough saw marks and stuff like that and it really did a great job. I'm very pleased with how my, uh, my drum sander worked. Uh, again, I used the Velcro uh, to put the... Uh, the sandpaper on there so it does have a bit of a cushion but I found that if I just take very light cuts uh, or very light passes and just run through keep flipping them over and turning them around and everything really did a nice job so I'm very happy with that. Okay I'm about ready to call it a day out here but I thought I'd uh, show you what I've got done so far. I've got the, uh, the two end pieces uh, like again I uh, like I said, I used my CNC router to cut that, and I've engraved this uh, little teddy bear thing in there. So these are the two end pieces of the cradle, and then I've also got the two uh, rocker pieces. So I've still got to make some legs and the side rails and that kind of thing. And uh, I was going to, uh, the plans actually call plans actually call for spindles and uh, I, I do have a, uh, a little lathe and I know what you're thinking you're like wait a minute Dave I've never seen your lathe in your shop well I've got a small lathe uh, that I traded somebody something else for and uh, it never has made it out to the shop I've got it in the garage played around with it a little bit but at any rate I don't think I'm going to try to 
since I knew it, uh, the lathe, and I, I don't want to waste that much time trying to learn how to, to make these, so I think what I'm going to do is probably just make some kind of flat slats similar to uh, this shape or something. I don't know. I'll come up with something. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for uh, today. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. Uh, hit the like button if you like these videos. Uh, and uh, you know, once you subscribe, you'll, you'll get uh, notifications of whenever I'm uploading a video. And I've, I've got all kinds of projects already on there and already uh, you know, a bunch more projects coming. Uh, actually, while this, this was running on the CNC, you can see I've got a couple of uh, body blanks glued up here. I'm going to try uh, my hand at a couple of solid body guitars, so I've got some uh, blanks glued up for that. But i got to get this project finished first. So. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, and uh, when I get uh, back out here, probably be next weekend before I can get another uh, chance to get back out here and uh, work some on this cradle. But thanks for watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers, and we'll catch you next time.